thanks for joining me today. I'm actually a little bit giddy about today's card. Um, a lot of you requested manly cards, so that's what I'm going to work on for the next few days on my blog, well, at least today. Um, so, I actually am going to use a clear envelope for this. So these are sold by Stampin' Up! and it's just the translucent envelopes. And I'm cutting this to be three, and then I want to cut the bottom off. So I'm actually making like a clear card by four and a quarter. Oops. Oh, I'm so excited, I kind of cut it wonky. There we go. Okay, so I've made myself a sleeve. Now, if you have window sheets, they would work as well, but I don't have any window sheets right now. So I thought, oh, what's the next best thing I can do? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just apply a little bit of snail on the back here. Because this is the back of my card, I'm not too worried about it. And I'm just going to take my card, and I'll explain this part in a minute. I'm actually going to put this right inside the sleeve because I want it to be shiny like a beer cup. So I've attached that to the back and then the front of my card, oh you can see, shoot sorry about that, I had a little bit of adhesive on here already um, to help hold it down because I was going to use the um, a greeting there. So I can just put a little bit of sand at the top because that's going to be covered and then that this on the bottom. So you can see here that it offers the shine like a beer cup I've corner rounded this card, and this card is three inches wide by four and a quarter inches in more mustard. I hand drew on these lines to look like the lines on a cup. I corner rounded the bottom. I sponged the bottom of the cup here in more mustard ink, and then I sponged the top, I hope you can see that, in a whisper white to look kind of like the foam um, for beer. This is the exciting part though. I was looking at this stamp set, which is the Cupcake Thank You from Stampin' Up. Love it, fun, but really how versatile is it? I use it all the time for my kids, but I started looking at it and I thought, oh my goodness, here's the foam to a beer cup. So I took my Close to Cocoa marker and I stamped just the icing of the cupcake. I had to hand draw in just this part here where the cherry was, and I have myself the foam. <gasps> okay, seriously, I'm giddy, I'm giddy. Um, to my beer cup. So there's the foam. You can see the whisper white um, sponging down here. And then what I've got, and I'm just going to put this over the adhesive that's holding that clear piece on. Just this label punch in the Close to Cocoa, and I sponged it in Close to Cocoa as well using the um, Earth Elements brads. And then I have a one and a quarter inch circle. And then I'm just going to take the cheers to you. I punched that with the one inch and that sponge in the close to cocoa and that is on my cup and the very last step wish me luck here okay I'm gonna take some crystal effects I just want to see what kind of um, spout I'm getting here and I'm just going to have a few little drops kind of a stream not a lot I don't I don't want to overdo it but I want it to kind of look like the condensation on the beer mug. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to share this and uh, give it to some lucky recipient. So I hope you like my Manly Cheers to You card. You could always add a handle if you want, but hey, a nice beer glass and we're all good to go. Hope you like it.